joined by Bruce Boudreaux. Bruce, after a promising start to these playoffs, Stu Skinner now has the worst save percentage of any goalie still alive in the postseason. A 796 save percentage in the first three games against the Canucks. He's allowed 5.27 more goals than expected. Does he need to watch game four from the bench, Bruce? You know, it's a tough question, but I think it, it ends up boiling down to is do they have confidence in Calvin Pickard as an organization? But, uh, you know, this situation has happened to me before um, in, in the playoffs. And one of the things that you gotta, you got to understand is if do the, who do the players have confidence in? Because you play a different way when you have confidence in one goalie or the other goalie. And, uh, like, I would, uh, like, in 2010, we were struggling a little bit with Jose Theodore, and we had a young goalie, Varlamov. And I went and I asked Backstrom and, and Ovechkin and, and Sergei Fedorov, I pulled them in, I said, hey, listen, if I made this change, do you guys believe that this goalie can, can help you win, or would he be a good, uh, a good alternate fit for you? And they all said yes. They believed in the goalie, so I made the change, and uh, fortunately, we won the playoff series. Now, that's, you know, I mean, the coaches are going to do all the uh, thinking and talking about the numbers and everything else, but if the players don't believe that this goalie can win you the game, then, you, you know, then you're in trouble. So I would ask, I would take Dreisaitl, I would take McDavid, I would take maybe one other guy and say, hey, do you believe that if we make this change, we can win the win the thing or do you not believe in him or do you think Skinner's the way to go and a lot of what they would say would determine what I would do because if they said no Calvin Pickard can't do it you're sticking with Skinner if they think we can then maybe you change that's the way I'd handle it all right but not only does Calvin Pickard not have any NHL playoff experience he's got very little postseason experience at any level just two games for Bakersfield Condors three for the Toronto Marlies in the AHL, and five games for the Seattle Thunderbirds of the WHL. But that was 15 years ago, Coach. How concerning is his lack of big game experience if the players helped you decide to go with him instead of Skinner? Well, I mean, uh, there's always concern in your mind, but Seeloff's had very little playoff experience. Two years ago, he was in the American League and didn't play a game. He was in the East Coast League. They sent to they sent him to the East Coast League in, in uh February and then he played the world championships but I think that's probably as much as experience as he's got so uh, you know who's to say how much the experience is going to benefit you or make you afraid so uh, I would think that he looked calm even though he only had a couple shots last game he looked calm enough that he's been in the big leagues for a lot of years now maybe he'd feel he would welcome the challenge and he would embrace it rather than fear it. So, I mean, uh, like I said, a lot would be done with the players. If the players believe in it, then they play a different way than when the players don't believe in the goalie. So, right now, I don't think they believe in, in Skinner too much, but I'm not there, so I couldn't tell you. That makes sense. A couple other positive notes for the Oilers. Since Edmonton made the coaching change, Pickard's got a 245 goals against average. That's just slightly better than Skinner's 2.46 mark since that change. That... And the fact the Oilers are still the second highest scoring team in the playoffs, so that should help whoever starts.